Hey everybody, Crafty Media is back, and today I'm going to be breaking down the 12 bus metahumans from The Flash Season 4, as well as their powers and where they all are currently. In addition to explaining that, I'm going to be making some theories and predictions for the remainder of the season for The Flash, and this means that this video will contain plenty of spoilers, so please be warned. As we know, it was Clifford DeVoe, aka The Thinker, who engineered the creation of 12 metahumans for the purposes of his ultimate goal, that of achieving the Enlightenment. Now it's unclear what exactly the Enlightenment is, but I think it's a safe bet that it's going to be linked to DeVoe's goal of obtaining ultimate power, and using this power to enlighten mankind, to bring us peace, to make the world free. Free from what? Freedom. Freedom is life's great lie. Once you accept that, in your heart... <laughs> Yeah, you say peace. I kind of think you mean the other thing. But like Loki's plan was not really about bringing peace and freedom, so will DeVoe's plan be about his ego, arrogance, and his will to dominate and enslave for his own selfish purposes. We have already seen how DeVoe is willing to drug and mind control his own wife to achieve his goals. And to be honest, I think subjugating the world is probably the best case scenario in terms of the enlightenment, as I think it actually could involve reshaping the universe altogether. Now let's recap all of the bus metas that were created and explain their powers. This of course is very relevant as DeVoe has assimilated many of these powers and Team Flash will have to find a way to combat them and ultimately stop DeVoe's plan of enlightenment. Now let's run them down in the order they first appeared. Firstly comes Kilgore. In the comics, Kilgore was an extraterrestrial artificial intelligence. He was a villain of the Flash, Cyborg, and even the Justice League, and he even made an appearance in the companion comic to Green Lantern, the animated series. This animated series was actually pretty awesome, and it definitely deserved several seasons, not just one. On the show, he is reimagined as Ramsey Deacon, a former Silicon Valley executive whose run-in with Dark Matter on the bus allowed him to hack any technology. Secondly, we have Becky Sharp. Hazard, whose powers in the comic and the show are that of probability manipulation. In other words, she makes her own luck. And the first time we see her, she has been fired from her job at a casino, and she's wearing a pretty comic book accurate costume. Her death at the hands of DeVoe was particularly sad, as she had decided to use her powers for good during their escape from Iron Heights. The third metahuman from DeVoe's incident is of course the elongated man, Ralph Dibney. In the comics, Rolf Dibney was obsessed with India rubber men, and found that they all drank Gingold, which was a soft drink containing the fruit Gingo. He then decided to make a super concentrated distilled Gingo drink for himself, and then found that he had powers to stretch his body. He's been a member of the Justice League and was even a Black Lantern in the Darkest Night event, where scarily he tore Hawkman's heart out. It's pretty dark stuff. The show has introduced additional powers such as the ability to change his height, weight, appearance, and even his voice, giving him the handy ability to impersonate anybody, including even Clifford DeVoe. The fourth bus meta is the Weeper. In the show, the Weeper's tears have the ability to create euphoria and extreme feelings of devotion. The Weeper in the comics was a villain named Mortimer Gloom, who was named the Weeper simply because he wept tears after killing his victims, which is pretty creepy. Now, the tears had no supernatural properties, but interestingly, the Weeper once teamed up with the Joker to take on the Justice League. Fifth on the list is Black Bison. On the show, Black Bison is Mina Chayton, a Native American woman and anthropology professor who was able to bring inanimate objects to life and to control them. However, in the comics, Black Bison is a man and a traditional villain of Firestorm. He is actually possessed by the spirit of his rage-filled grandfather and owns a talisman which gives him the ability to possess whoever wears it. He also has acoustic which gives him power to give life to inanimate objects, just like the show. Number six is Dominic Long aka Brainstorm, and it's from him that DeVoe gets the dangerous power of mind control. In the comics, he is again from Silicon Valley, and was working on uploading other people's minds into computers. He successfully managed to do this, and then by accident downloaded those intellects into his own mind, allowing him to assimilate those consciousnesses. Dominic's death was also pretty tragic and shocking as Caitlin had just saved his life, only for Aminette Black to sell him to the Thinker, and it is seemingly only then, after absorbing Dominic's powers, that the Thinker is actually able to transfer his consciousness into Dominic's body. By having the power to transfer his consciousness into other bodies, pretty much means that the Thinker has become immortal. <laughs> 
The seventh bus meta is Neil Borman, aka Fallout. He's one of the few bus metas who's still alive, and the way the character is portrayed on the show is very similar to the comics, in that he's unaware that he's poisoning others with radiation. Team Flash left Fallout with one of their former team members, Tracy, who, as you remember, was the love interest of HR, and Fallout is still assumed to be under her care. Silbert Rundine, aka Dwarf Star, is the 8th bus meta and he's a pretty dark character in the Atom comics. He did have shrinking powers through technology that he stole from the Atom. Number 9 is Izzy Bowen, the Fiddler, who, before she was taken by DeVoe, was able to get in a good sonic blast and actually hurt DeVoe a little bit. In the comics, the Fiddler is a man named Isaac Bowen, who was a longtime foe of the Jay Garrick Flash. Moving along to number 10, Matthew Kim, aka Malting Point, is a new creation on the show and is not inspired from the comics at all. He is another bus meta that is still alive and is currently in Star Labs for his own protection, hiding from DeVoe. He has the ability to take powers from one metahuman and give them to another. Now I'm not sure how this is going to play into DeVoe's plans and the character may just have been created to give us a fun episode of Iris as a speedster. 11th is the petty jewel thief Janet Petty whose social media handle is null. Is that really her handle? She has the ability to manipulate gravity. In the comics, Null is a homeless man in the netherworlds of Chicago in the Hawkworld comics, and also had these very same powers. On the Flash, however, Null can even manipulate gravity to the point where she can fly. She's also currently locked up in Star Labs. And that brings us to the final bus meta, Edwin Gorse aka The Folded Man. On the show, Edwin is described as a hippie scientist, pictured here in a promotional photo with Rolf Dibney. In the comics, The Folded Man is one of the greatest minds in the DC universe, and is even mentioned to be of similar intelligence levels to that of Mr. Terrific. And importantly, he developed technology which allowed him to travel between dimensions. Now this of course will come in handy for The Thinker's plans. The Thinker is already hiding in a pocket dimension, and who knows what he could do with the additional powers of Edwin. And Gorse. In fact, if DeVoe is able to absorb all of these powers of these 12 metahumans, he will be an absolutely unstoppable force. In summary, we know for sure that he has already absorbed the powers of Kilgore, Hazard, Black Bison, Brainstorm, Dwarf Star and the Fiddler. It's unclear whether DeVoe has absorbed the Weeper's powers or if he is just holding him prisoner somewhere in his pocket dimension. Those bus metas who haven't had their powers absorbed by DeVoe are Melting Point and Null who are still locked up in Star Labs. Also in Star Labs is the Folded Man and of course Elongated Man. Fallout is with Tracy Borman trying to get his fallout stopped. So which of the remaining bus metas will the thinker target first? And what do you think the enlightenment really is? What do you think it is? Let's discuss in the comments below. So there you have it. I hope you enjoyed this video. For those of you who are finding me for the first time, I do videos on The Flash and other comic book TV shows and movies, DC, Marvel, Star Wars, and other blockbusters. Please like and share this video as it really helps the channel. And why not subscribe and enable notifications so that you don't miss out on any crafty media content i'm also on twitter facebook and google plus with the handle at crafty media co so feel free to follow me and discuss anything you like thanks a lot for watching cheers for now